All right, wasting no time. We're jumping right into video number two of the day, three of the series, and probably the last unboxing video I see myself doing. This is the Carl's Mystery Grab Bag multi-species box. I just opened the, bo the Bass Box for you, and this was 14 bucks. It's very excited because the Bass Box is a third of the size of this, but when you open it, wah, wah. so I bought a lot of air. So let's have at it. How do we do? I've been seeing these on social media. These are uh, the Guggen Squad Filthy Frog. My video from the yesterday, I had a brown bellied frog, which I've never used with the, kick, the two twin kicktails. This is more the style that I'm used to fishing. Uh, but again, black belly, this, I don't know how well this will produce in my area, but excited to try it. And I'm just gonna like the fact that I have that in my box. It'll get used. Uh, Crystal Reaper Glow Resin Trebles. I'll be honest, I don't know what the best application for these are. If anybody sees this and knows the best way to apply these, let me know. I'm not inclined to want to put these on any of my baits that I already own. So I would love to hear that they glow in the dark. So maybe if I wanted to do some night fishing, I guess, I don't know. Uh, interesting. Uh, I'll keep them around because it never hurts to have extra hooks. Ready Rattle Floats. This looks like an inshore type of thing. Uh, it's the ideal for salt grass marshes. Yep, shallow bays, redfish and trout. I don't see myself using these. Uh, I, I'm nowhere near the ocean. So, um, and for trout, I, I guess that would be lake trout. Um, this is an application I am not used to. I don't see myself using it. It's just massive, clunky, and big, and I don't even know what it's for. But you know what though? I might, you know what? I take that back. I'm gonna look into this. I might use, oh, those holes are pretty big. I was gonna say, these might actually be, uh, might salvage the, the bobber itself, but I don't know. I'll hold on to those for now. Uh, the brand's cheap. Uh, I love this type. Okay, so I always get excited when I see anything Asian just because, well, well, you're gonna get better quality usually. Um, I so we have a all range. So it's a all right, lipless crank, really beautiful color pattern. Um, honestly, this is stunning. An orange belly, very very silver, very fat belly on it, big curve. Uh, I think this will look good in the water. This is gonna be another valuable lipless crank. The hardcore vibe, sinking, super sound wave. Yep, winner. So actually. We'll do that. We'll say, not sure, no, winners. Crappy nibbles. Oh, okay. Uh, crappy nibbles. I, I get these in white and fluorescent yellow, and they produce. I never tried blue. I'm sure it'll work just as well, so I have no complaints. I mean, literally just drop them on a hook and catch crappy. So we got some long shake hooks. Shank hooks. Uh, this goes back to your multi-species. Now, one thing immediately... So when it comes to hooks with a long shank, it's, you know, you're talking about fish with small mouths. The shank, you know, the long shaft lets you, helps you de-hook the fish, but these hooks all have an offset. I tend to not fish offset hooks. Um, but the smaller one I think would be fine for bluegill. Um, just smell that hook. So my kids will probably get some use out of these. Uh, maybe live bait for yellow perch too. I. Um, still, it's a maybe pile because I don't even need those. But here, these, okay, these are not offset. They got like a, a little wiggle in the shaft. You know, there's a little bend in the shaft, but the hook's not offset. So these will definitely get used. These are perfect, you know, they say crappie, but um, my kids, when they're fishing for bluegill, they don't fish for little ones. So these are a win, but they're not expensive. Rebel. Now these, Rebel makes the best inexpensive lures. It's funny, these... I have the bumblebee version of this, and I have, I believe, the cricket version of this. They produce very well. These are, even though it is, it is a lipped crank, they float. Um, I just cast them and just twitch them on the surface. And something always comes up and hits it. Um, I tend to throw them a little farther from shore to avoid the little bluegills, but big bluegills, and, and actually, uh, like those, you know, the one, one and a half pound dink bass are gonna come up and grab these too. So, glad to have another one. I don't. As far as matching the hatch, I don't know what in my area looks like that, but it'll probably produce just like the other ones do, so win. 
Lucky John, Tayoga swim baits. These are some longer ones, very interesting shape to them. Ribbed. Let's see here, anything special about these? So, explosive injection of scent and taste. It's got SNT form, whatever that is. So, it's not edible, it's eatable. New scent formula, salty material. Okay, so you know what? These are probably gonna be effective. Um, it's an odd shape. Uh, I think they would probably function pretty well on a trailer if I don't wanna go chunky or just swim bait by on its own with a jig head. So I think these are good. And given that it says they're quote eatable soft lure, I'm assuming they're biodegradable too. So good for the environment. I'll call these a win too. Oh, sticker. Actually, I kind of like that one. All right, so we got some summer craw. Uh, absolutely, these are uh, Carolina rig, Texas rig, and just on a jig bait. So these are these are a huge winner. I don't know anything about net bait, but a lot of thickness to these things. They got a lot of girth. Claws are very thin, so they're gonna have a lot of action. Tiny paca craw. Yeah, big wing. Scent salt. Pork fat. Oh, pork fat. That. Oh, I got. We have to try the smell. You know, it's got that traditional plastic smell. There's a little something else there. It's different. It's not the... It's almost like licorice. Still, these I think these will work well. Big bite baits. Um, like I said, I like these guys for their uh, panfish plastics. So we got a pumpkin pepper green creature bait. Yeah, these are... I'm gonna blow through these. I'm gonna catch a lot of fish with these. That's a win. And last but not least, let's see here. So mystery tackle box exclusive. All right, so this is an ice fishing jig and uh, I no longer ice fish. Um, and looking at that hook, I see, okay, bigger versions of this. Um, I have a condition called neuropathy. I, I developed it this year. Um, I can't expose my hands to extreme cold anymore, so ice fishing is just out. I cannot do it. So this, eh, I'm gonna give this away. Uh, I don't have any subs, I don't think, I don't really care. But I'll hold on to this for now, and if somebody wants it, send me a note, I'll mail it to you. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is this 14 bucks? Yeah, I got my money's worth. No complaints. So three boxes, three wins. I'm happy and I, two frogs in style that I don't fish. So I've never had a Guggen product either. So it'll be interesting to see the quality of this. Um, I know those, those guys, I watch their YouTube channels. Hmm, well, hopefully it's a good lure. This, this is the big winner. This is, I'm gonna Google this. I think this is expensive. All right, um, have a good one.